Quentin Miller. What's up? Welcome to Power 106. Man, thanks for having me. Man, my pleasure. Uh, You're from my hometown. From Atlanta? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> what part of Atlanta? I'm from the north side. I'm from where Migos and them from. Okay, we're from we're from opposite side, south side. You from the south side? North, you the far. North Clayton. Y'all far. College Park, Fayetteville. Mom, mom, mom lives out in Fayetteville now. Yeah, y'all far, man. <laughs> I've been in L. I went to high school here in L. A. Then I moved away to Dallas, and I've been back in L. A. Now for 18 years. So. Okay, okay. So. That's my story. All right, all right. That's all you're getting. We, we're going to talk about you. <laughs> first of all, um, welcome. Uh, this is your first time at Power 106. Yeah, yeah. Um, first of all, congratulations on everything, man. Thank you. Uh, from, from what I'm understanding, and, and I've known about somewhat about your story, but the more that I've learned about you, is, it's pretty amazing, to say the least, man. Thank you, bro. Uh, Thank you, for real. Uh, tell the story of how you got hooked up with Drake. Um, long story short, uh, like they, like they said, uh, Boy Wonder, really, uh, people don't know I was signed to Tricky Stewart, I was working with, like, The Dream and stuff, and I had, uh, met Boy Wonder through that, and, um, I just kind of sent Boy Wonder a Hail Mary text one day, and <laughs> the rest is history. So, f from what I'm understanding, you were bagging groceries, <laughs> you were bagging girl. I mean, no, we all I was, been. I was baking cakes. There's okay. a difference. <laughs> I was in the bakery. Were and, you flipping and, and cakes was, or were you and baking cakes? And it was a Publix. Got it. Stop nice giving Kroger, Kroger this this credit <laughs> that they don't deserve. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, shout out to Kroger, but man, nah, that's was, amazing. That amazing. <laughs> so, I want to get all these things Drake related and Pusha T related out of the way before okay. we talk okay. about all, right. all your stuff. Okay, uh, you. Uh, you wrote a couple songs on which album? It was a couple of Drizzy Drake albums. Which album? Um, <laughs> if, if you're reading this. Too late. We worked together on some songs on "If You're Reading This Is Too Late." Okay. What did you think about that project? I loved it. Did, you liked it? Yeah. I mean, I, I I've been my favorite project to this day. Uh, when you was, first heard it, was uh, his I'm, first mixtape. I'm gonna cut you off. When you first heard it, were you like thinking like, man, who wrote this part? Who wrote this part? Or did you? No, you, you liked it, right? I just I took it for what it was. That's what I wanted from the project, you know. Good. Ultimately, that wasn't how it turned out to be, but you know, it is what it be, is. Being a DJ and being a producer, I'm all about the beat and the hook. And to be honest with you, man, I, I'm I I don't listen. The only time I'm really, really listening to lyrics is, you know, Lil Wayne is probably my favorite MC. Yeah. Uh, Nas, um, and, and and especially when there's beef records, that's when I really <laughs> listen to lyrics. Yeah. But other than that, I'm a hook. You know, I'm a hook man. Yeah. yeah. So you're probably talking to the wrong person. When <laughs> but uh, but uh, but on that note, uh, I know TMZ caught up with you last night. <laughs> yeah. And 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 they asked you, you know, what your relationship with Drake. And uh, and Pusha, and I think your response was, "I rock with, with Pusha T. I rock with Drake." <laughs> ha have you or would you write uh, for Pusha? Me and Pusha have worked, and yeah, I would work with Pusha. I mean, Pusha's always been a stand-up dude with me. Honestly, like uh, when I first met him, you know, I had a whole convo with him. We we went met at some fancy restaurant out here in L.A. and. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I told him, like, yo, like, I want to be my own man, whatever. And he respected it, you know what I'm saying? And then even with the, the infrared thing, you know, I called him afterwards, and I was just like, yo, you know, you kind of brought me back into a narrative. And he was a stand-up dude about it. He really, like, you know, if y'all listen to the, the diss song, you know, which I'm not speaking on the diss song, but at the beginning of it, he said, ghost right in the side, you know, and then he called me that night literally and was like yo i really wanted to make sure you heard that because you know i felt a way you know when you thought that i was using your name whatever so just off of that alone and just off of our history he's linked me up with all kind of people and stuff man like i can't i have nothing bad to say about that man push t's been a stand-up dude to me pushes the homie man pushes yeah, pushes man. cool people yeah um so how 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 do you feel how does drake feel about about you discussing things that you've collaborated uh, on with him. You would have to ask Drake. I don't, and I don't really. Can do you I, get him do, on the do phone I, right now? Do I discuss things that I, about collaborating? Mm. Do I discuss things? Is that a rhetorical question? I'm asking. 
You, you just you said, how does Drake feel about me discussing things? I'm, have I discussed? What have I discussed? Okay, then let me rephrase your question because I see where you're going at. <laughs> w- would you be open to discussing collaborations that you have with Drake? Um, the only way I would uh, only way I would go into detail about that is it would have to be like with Drake. It would have to be you know on some tasteful stuff. I, I I'm not I out here that. to like you know that man changed my life, man. Yeah, no, I feel you. Day, I respect so that. I'll never do anything to to slight bro. Or, I got you. You know, so yeah, re- re- if if he wanted to said. come out and talk about the the process, which in all actuality, if I could say anything about the process of that project, it was a great fun. Mm. process it was genuine it was like a genuine energy you know and uh gotcha you know i hate that it it has this this stain on it but yeah you know if he ever wanted to talk about that i'd be down to talk about it with him you know but i I wouldn't say it has a stain on it i mean i guess you could say that but man that's 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 part of hip-hop man that that that's a that's a big deal but you know when people think about it you know it's it's all kind of other things that come up first before you just think about how dope it was you know gotcha would you collaborate again in the future with him uh i mean i'm open to working with anybody you know like you know i'm i'm open to working with anybody will you write a freestyle for mars he produces, but he can't rap. I mean, with the shit. you know, if the if the check is right, you know. I know y'all got some power one oh six bread, y'all can <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good time to segue into your projects. Um, yo, so when I saw the the title, you you're you you, you have a a partner in crime and you guys have a group called Wedding Crashers. And yeah. oh, so so this is uh cool as Mac. Yeah, the cool as Mac. What's up, man? Yeah. If you scrolled past some things to get to this, uh you're checking in yeah. at the right time. So so tell us about Wedding Crashers, man. First of all, that's an amazing name for a group. <laughs> Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Uh yeah, Wedding Crashers is a duo that I started with him. What was that? 2013. Yeah. Uh like man, honestly, I just ride with him because he just I, I haven't seen that real like player pimp type energy since like Outcast. UGK. Outcast Pimp C got uh, busted dead, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know, and okay. I just felt like I could be the bun B to the the okay. Pepsi of this situation. Yeah. But you know, if you if you listen to it, it's some original stuff. It's like a fresh sound. It's like And y'all are producing everything as well? Well, now nah, we we work with different producers. I got my man Nick Miles. Uh, That's gotcha. who pretty much like helped us create the sound that we have. Yeah, right f- now. yeah for Wedding gotcha. Crashers for yeah. sure. Yeah, shout out Nick Miles, Chicago. I haven't I haven't had a chance to peep anything. Uh, so 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 hit me, man. What's going on? How can I hear music? Like, what's the next project? What is? Have y'all already released we, mixtapes? We or? just actually, you know, before the storm of all this other stuff happened, right. we had just dropped uh, Crash Files Volume Two, which is a uh, you know the second edition to our uh our volumes our crash file series um it's we got cousin stiz on there we got hit boy beats on there we got 808 mafia beats on there it's some original fresh right hip-hop trial called new trial called quest okay oh yeah it's, new. Really, it's really like some it's like some in a, in the moment right yeah. it's kind of what we coined you know because we we take pride in capturing the moments, you know. Mm-hmm. And you'll see on Crash Files, even if we don't get to record it, we somebody voice recorded it, you know. Yeah, like yeah. if it's like just something, you know, a beat that we had that was going off, and you know, we said something that we not gonna be able to remember. <laughs> if somebody had presence of mind, either me and Quentin or somebody in the camp had presence of mind to press record on their phones, uh-huh. you know. So when you listen to Crash Files Volume One and Two, you're gonna hear the interludes yeah. or those those voice memos, yeah. you know. We put those. And it's in just there. us having fun, you know. To, yeah. Like we're it's, we're all about just having fun, having a good time. Gotcha. You know? yeah. Like so in the yeah. moment, meaning like I don't want to forget that shit. Let's record that. Right. Shit. Like yeah. if yeah. we were talking about something, like a certain like, subject, ooh, that's a song. we were yeah. talking about like, damn, that's a song. Yeah. Well, goddamn, Bam. press Bam. record yeah, yeah. then. Yeah. And that, and that, and that's how it should be, to be honest with you. And you know, a lot of uh, you know, if you go back and look at at projects, whether it's rock music, hip hop music, some of the best albums ever recorded, in my opinion, were in the moment. Right? Yeah, and, for and sure. If for you sure. think about it, like if you um, if you go back and listen to Jimi Hendrix or Led Zeppelin, mm-hmm. or you go listen to James Brown, whatever it may be, those, in my opinion, were in the moment because they, right. they 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 were having jam sessions. Yeah, right? for sure. You know, for and sure. they were they were yeah. literally. You know, uh, 
a lot of times hooked up to record right and they were just like man this this is tight let's record just that going let's yeah. add this lyric yeah. and what that I, lyric spawned the keyboard right. player to say add this lyric yeah, yeah. what yeah. i feel like is more like original for us because i feel like that definitely is like the foundation but i feel like what's you know key for us is that we're really in a moment those people were in studios yeah we were in 1317 yeah. like that's the name of our camp like 1317 that was an apartment so yeah. you can hear people talking in the mm, background. Yeah. Hear girls laughing in the background. That's when we're nostalgic, doing songs. though. But man, it's ve- yeah. exactly yeah, you know, and we raw. we raw, you know man. we're not we're not that artist that's gonna be like yo, yeah. can everybody shut oh the, no, that's shut right. up real quick yeah. so we could do this yeah. and yeah. it's like no, like we're gonna catch that vibe. Everybody's talking at a respectable level, yeah. so though it, it doesn't like interfere with what we got going on. But like they know we're kind of in our little zone for sure, and it's you know for it's sure. crazy. So growing up in Atlanta, what what was what was some of y'all's biggest influences? And they don't have to be from Atlanta oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying yeah. in general well uh I was homeschooled so I wasn't really in the scene like that uh but I had a brother that went to public school and you know he's like 10 years older than me so I was introduced to hip-hop through like him and my dad he would put me on like the current music at the time which was like Wu-Tang and and uh Nas and Jay and stuff and my dad was like a run DMC head you know what I'm saying so I didn't even really get on to the the real southern stuff until uh i got a little older and started revisited and started kicking it with people that were outside of the house Mm -hmm. and they weren't listening to that stuff you know so yeah and if you don't mind me asking why were you homeschooled um it it was a spiritual decision my mother made i guess i'm just curious how was how did that it was that's got to be a different way of growing up, you know what I'm I saying? Mean, because, I'm but not, you weren't homeschooled. No. no. Okay. No, no sir. You were public school. I turned mm-hmm. up. <laughs> <laughs> I turned up in the public school. By no said. means was how, how, how did you still be in homeschooled? Did you find out about the parties and you know obviously you had all your homies most of them went to public school or Yeah, what well, you know ch- church was a place where I could see girls. Okay. Uh then I found out about this teen club uh where girls would twerk on you. Um <laughs> Yeah. So I went there. So I went there. <laughs> I'd be like, Mom, uh, it's just, it, was, it was a skating rink, but on Friday all nights, American. they would turn. Yeah, All-American. I'd, I I'd be like, Mom, I just want to go skating. See, yeah. it was Old National Highway for me when I grew up. Old Nat. Yeah. Old Nat. Skate rink. Skate time. Yeah, we, we already know. <laughs> we hit the spots. We hit the spots. A lot of videos. Were Golden Glide. Right. Shout out to, to Golden Glide on the east side, though, man. We east Shout out to Golden Glide. Golden Glide. So, man, that's what's up. Do y'all have anything? Can y'all do something off top? Can we can we get can we get a little little uh, performance? A performance? Yeah, we want to hear. We well, got to hear something. I man. got a little something for you one time yeah. while Quentin thinks yeah. about what he's gonna. Come do. on, <laughs> come on. Okay, the coolest Mac. There you go. It's like do it like Mac get popular. Uh, if you ever shorted me, you paying top dollar. Uh, styling profile me, I got you're paying college. Yeah, and I'm going in a function. I can't show my followers. Yeah. Damn, he think he big time. Nah, nigga, it's been time. Fell off in this dime piece on my hip now. Jet then, yeah, dripped out. Okay, your boy made it home on a prayer, and that's how I went down. Okay, <laughs> smoke on file, feet on couch. Where's your pass? We don't vouch. 1317, lean on that. We got you. That player shit, I wrote the how to. Mac. Oh, can we curse? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Go they can bleep that out. That's you, what they get paid for. Turn up in here. Come on, Quinn Miller. Okay, okay. Uh, this should be a Felly Fell freestyle. The Finney Smash so the RX is out. 28 years last year, my life different. I'm looking at life different. Trying to avoid police and life sentences. On my Bruce Willis. If I'm a die, I'll die hard with a vengeance. They want new QM, they really do. I've been... Water in this here money tree since Lamar dropped swimming pools. Homeschooled a real <laughs> nigga really lived in that living room. Said it, then I did it to him. Not quite rich, but that price tag affects me less. I would rather spend more if it stressed me less. If it gets me straight to the point like direct to sex. Ooh. Turn up in here. <laughs> one through yeah. one seven. You did. Wedding crashes <laughs> up in here. Yeah, man. Coach Cam in the back. You did. What I got up, my boy up, up, Money Sign Peso in here, man. Yeah, know, Money Sign Peso in here. Yeah. Power circle know, in here. We know some of the fam. We yeah. know some of the fam. Coach Cam, man. Man, so damn. I, now, now I'm ready to hear. I'm ready to hear more, man. I gotta, man. I gotta put on some headphones. Man, it's a very ride. good contrast, though. I will yeah. tell you, for like people that's never, you know, listened to Wedding Crashers, you know, like it's a very good contrast. You know, it's a deep voice and a like raspy 
higher voice. Yeah. It's it works, bro. Like, don't knock it. Don't knock it before you try it yeah. out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got a lot of fans out here in LA too. So y'all, y'all, tell them folks about. Tell it. them folks, man. Come, <laughs> Come on, man. You're, you're doing that right now. <laughs> That's it. That's yeah. it. That's what I'm yeah, talking man. about, man. Yeah. So yo. Um, good luck, whatever. I can't. When, whenever y'all get the the record that for you sure, that you're sure. ready to push, you know you got y'all got the info, man. Y'all are plugged yeah. in. Shirley, Shirley got the the plug. Yes, 110. Appreciate that, man. Uh, <laughs> man, thank you, Shirley. God, God bless, man. It was, it was really nice meeting you guys, man. Nice meeting you Wedding too, crashes, man. man. Absolutely, thank you, man. Turn up.